the level of complexity and ambiguity that exists in being able to predict the future today because of all of the dramatic changes that are occurring uh, is really causing us to rethink the transformation process and the transformation journey. Too often, strategies and executions uh, end up separating. What we've been able to do is collapse that chasm to develop a strategy that is not only highly insightful, but is executable. To be successful, it needs to be integrated in a way that forms a holistic system to deliver value. It's not just the processes that you follow, uh, it's the customer experiences, it's the technology, uh, both internal and external facing, it's the organizations, it's the location of those organizations. Some of the barriers in designing an effective operating model you know, really come from two places. Uh, one is the outside world, and the other is the organization itself. Big organizations are conservative, and every senior executive manager's first and foremost job is to make sure that they continue those streams of cash flow to their shareholders. Today we're seeing chief tax officers have a lot more prominent seat at the table during a business transformation. We've seen that a lot in companies where they say, well, we don't have currently have budget to do this, this is, this is what our plans are and we can come in and show them some neat ideas on how to think about differently about how they're gonna restructure their business and include tax as part of that restructuring. If I'm gonna go through a transformation and I can take my current effective tax rate, let's say of 30%, and reduce it to 28%, that 2% savings on all my company income, well, that's real dollars, that's permanent savings. Whenever you're gonna move people, assets, income streams, or processes around, it will have a tax impact. These are not easy changes, and a lot of times uh, you're changing things that have been around and have historical precedence of decades. So to understand the value of transforming, you need to first understand the expectations of your customer and work that into uh, your strategy, and then ultimately the value plan that you put forth to be able to manage the transformation end to end. Many citizens nowadays are looking for governments to provide them with better services, more access to benefits. Currently, um, Healthcare is paid based on fee for service. One of the changes they're making is to base the payments on outcomes. In other words, are you achieving better healthcare outcomes? If you are achieving that, we'll pay you. If you're not achieving that, we won't pay you. We had a client that was in the aerospace business. They came to us with a business that was made up of 50 independent operating units. And the CEO asked us how he could realize greater value as a corporation beyond what 50 individual operating units contributed. We spent time laying out a view of things that corporate could do across the business units. There are two or three things that are going to create massive value for your business and for the corporation. And in a matter of six or eight weeks, the teams were generating five and $10 million improvements in the operating units. The value question is a complex one, but the answer inherently is in making sure that you understand what does it take to deliver the ultimate value through your strategy and your operating model, which requires you to have a very clear view at what your customers value, what your employees value, what your regulators value, and then ultimately what your shareholders value.